Just a day after Ian Botham questioned the credibility of the Indian Premier League, BCCI Secretary Sanjay Patel has responded furiously to the former England captain's comments. The Secretary Sanjay Patel has said uh, rubbishing uh, former great Ian, Chap uh, Ian Botham's criticism of the highly lucrative league, saying he had no local standi and advised him to first get his facts right before commenting on the 2020 league. Hitting out at Botham, Patel said, and I quote, let him get his facts correct first. The BCCI has distributed over 10 million US dollars as compensation to the other cricket boards for allowing their players to play in the IPL. <clears throat> Excuse me. In a speech recently, Botham has said that the IPL should be scrapped as he felt it was too powerful for the long-term good of the game. Botham had also said that the franchise-based league provides the perfect opportunity for betting and therefore fixing and the players were slaves to the leagues. In fact, Sanjay Patel, the BCCI secretary, is now joining us over the phone line. Uh, uh, I believe we've lo lost that line. Uh, but let me go across to Borea first. Uh, Borea, extremely strong comments coming uh, from Sanjay Patel, hitting back at Ian Botham. Uh, do you feel some of the criticism that the IPL sometimes gets is actually not fair? Certainly so. I mean, but two things, Shivani. Where was Botham making these comments? MCC. Lords, MCC and the spirit of cricket is actually a part of the IPL. Every captain signs that MCC spirit of cricket pledge at the start of the IPL. I think uh, Sir Ian perhaps got his context and venue wrong. Some of the comments maybe have some sense, but I think the way he espoused them was wrong. Sanjay Patel is right in feeling bad and livid, but having said that, Maybe Sanjay Patel should also see this whole thing about betting and fixing that has tainted the league. We would be better off taking the constructive criticism, you know, in our fold and improving it rather than saying Ian Botham, you know, doesn't know and has no locus standi. It's his opinion. He's entitled to it. Perhaps he's gotten it wrong. Right. But the comment about, uh, you know, too much uh, money being involved, uh, players being slaves to the league. Uh, the league having too much power, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the calendar, Nikhil. All of those questions have been asked before. Uh, and certainly, we've seen that betting and fixing have become associated with the league. So, on that standpoint, really not something new. Shawani, it's unfortunate that, you know, every time there's a fixing allegation or a betting allegation, IPL gets uh, blamed for it. You know, when you've got that number of uh, players, if one or two are the bad apples, why do you want to blame the entire league? And apart from that, when you talk about money for the players, I think it's fantastic for a sportsman because his sporting career is only about 10 years, 12 years, unlike some of the great legends like Tendulkar who's played for over two decades for India. So they need to make a livelihood that will last them a lifetime. And it's not that they become bad players or they're not going to give enough importance to their domestic uh, cricket uh, like Ranji Trophy or when they're looking to play for India. When you make a name for yourself as a player, only then are you entitled for that amount of money. Otherwise, as an international player, if you don't make it uh, looking to play for your country, nobody's going to give you a couple of uh, crores for that one season. Hmm. If you're a domestic player, you'll only get about what, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs. So you need to work hard as well. The yeah. ultimate goal is to play for India. And once you make a reputation for yourself, that's when you get the big bucks. Right, and IPL has thrown up uh, good talent for the Indian team as well. Uh, perhaps there's a tinge of jealousy as well, uh, because you hear a lot of this uh, uh, criticism uh, from England, from Australia. Uh, and from their players as well who decide to skip it but uh, overall there's no question that you can't completely disregard the product that is the Indian Premier League. Borea Majumdar and Nikhil Chopra, thanks a lot for joining us.